So we're going to be using the large pillow box die set for making this one and it also comes with the smaller one as well which I showed you just before the other gift boxes that you can make with that and um, this is a really 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 good sized pillow box so I'm really glad that I have this in my collection. So uh, I'm going to quickly show you the dies that I'm going to be using because I have everything cut out already. So this is the pillow box die as you can see it's a very sizeable die and you're going to be needing an A4 die cutting machine. I have the Gemini and I've cut two of these out from glitter, non-shed glitter cardstock and I've gone for pattern paper for this one. This is a mat for the centre and these little sections here, these also have mats as well. So I'm going to cut one of those out. So um, you can do it double sided if you want. Um, if it's going to be hanging on a door, you may just want to decorate the front only. So this one is going to be a mat that semicircle. I'm not going to do the bottom because that's going to be the base of the box and if you did want to make a summer version or a nice pretty flowery version perfect for Mother's Day we have all these flowers here as well and this beautiful leaf trellis die which is going to fit in this section here. So we're going to do a Christmas version today. So I've got everything cut out already. Let's grab those pieces. So you're going to need to cut two of these and I've used some non-shed glitter cardstock from Tonic and all we have to do is done all the scoring for you as well so all we have to do is literally just fold it so grab a bone folder so again all the hard work has been taken out of this so just press that down and then you're going to have to use your, your these, these fingers here the thumb and first finger and just bend that and then the trick is with pillow boxes is you see these corners here these need to be pressed down so you get a lovely sharp end there exactly the same on the other side so it should look like that do exactly the same on the other side and this has worked absolutely beautifully on the non-shared bit of cardstock right do exactly the same on the other one So it doesn't have to just be, you know, for a door. If you have a hook, you can hang this on. Um, the hole that I'm going to be putting in this, it's going to be up to you what size hole you want to put in, uh, whatever you have in your stash. I'm going to use a circle punch. And my door handles, they're, they're, they're the long sort of uh, door handles. They're not knobs. Um, so if you do have a door knob, just measure your door knob to make sure that it is going to actually fit over that. Okay, so everything is now folded. So I'm now going to use some uh, glue. On this sort of cardstock, it may take a little longer for it to um, take or to set. And another quick tip here is to go right up into that corner, right up to that edge where it finishes off the end there. The secret to a good pillow boxes is they have these really nice sharp corners once they're folded. So the folding and the gluing has to be just right if you want that effect. So do your best here. It's really hard to see because it's glittery cardstock. And it's hard to see where your seam is. But that looks about right. These two top ends here are meeting. The same at the bottom. Carefully, there we go. It's going to take some while to, a while to dry, so I'm going to leave that and then I'm going to come back. Okay, so I've turned it over now. I'm just going to press that down with the bone folder, and you do need to leave time for these to dry completely. So I'm just going to fold it over very carefully, just again press this down. This will be the same for any sort of pillow box. So if you have um, a pillow box punch board by We and Memory Keepers, um, the same will go for that when you close it up as well. So you know, I know even Sizzix have a really nice little pillow box die, which I do have in my collection as well. You've just got to make sure that everything is dry before you kind of open up the box. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do exactly the same. Not exactly the same, but we're going to glue this one onto that one now. So I'm going to press this down completely and add our glue just to this section here. Okay, 
again just make sure your corners are glued really well you can even add pegs to those corners as well just to make sure that it does glue really well okay so I'm now glued that shut so let's keep that pressed down I'm going to stop doing this just for a little while just so the glue takes again it's because it's a non-shed glitter cardstock so this needs a little bit of extra work just to get it to work and um, if you're using hunkadori adorable scorable you may come across the same or anything that's coated you will have the same sort of thing if you're using just a normal cardstock it will take really quickly or if you just really want this done fast and you want to use this one just use some um, red line tape okay so that is now glued in place so I'm going to leave that now to dry fully before we even try to open it up so the paper that I'm using today was also from my previous video which was day seven and I used the Knitwits collection Merry Moments I think it's called Merry Moments I'll pop a little thing here of some graphics of the digital kit so I am utilizing digital kits at the moment because they are absolutely perfect for last minute gifts and you can print them out as many times as you want and all the elements come with loads and loads of flowers and Christmas sentiments and, and everything that you need to kind of do any project from mini albums to gift giving to card making so um, and you can print them off in any size as well so it's absolutely perfect so do make sure that you have a digital collection um, at your disposal really really I really do encourage you to do that especially for last minute things like this so I've used the two dies that I showed you earlier to cut those two out so I'm going to now glue these onto the, um, the front of our I'm not even sure what I'm going to call it it's going to be like a pillow box pocket I guess hanger <laughs> I'll think of something okay so I've added all my glue there so I've used super smooth printable cardstock to print this out as well if you use the Ep if you use a uh, special Epson paper that I used to use I've run out of that now um, it will be twice as vibrant as this I've just used ordinary super smooth cardstock for this and it is still really really nice and pretty but if you use the Epsom stuff it really packs a punch you know like, like my nails it's just it'll be really really bright so let's get this top section on Okay, so let me grab my punch. I've got a two inch punch here. This one was from my Stampin' Up! days. Um, I've kept them, I really love them. So any sort of circle punch, or if you have some circle nesting dies, oval dies would look really good, as well as like the label sort of ornate dies as well. Those are going to look really good as well. And being flat like this you can run it through your die cutting machine as well so that's perfect right so decision making time you can either have two holes going all the way through or one hole so once this is opened up you can have it hanging on the back section here this could be kind of like your front section it's up to you um, or you can have the two holes going all the way through I'm going to put in one hole at the back and then I will sort of demonstrate how to continue the hole through to the front so I would like a good amount of space here this is going to add strength to whatever you put in there don't put anything too heavy in there so I'm going to go down as far as it will take me and I'm going to try and keep it central as well and then I'm going to press 
Right, so I have my hole now. So that's going to hook onto the back of the door and then I'll have the front of my bag hidden. I'm not going to press down and punch through the front, but I will show you how to make the hole at the front. So you've got your first hole done. So all you have to do <clears throat> is line that up again, get that hole lined up perfectly, and then press down. I'm not going to, but press down, and that will do you the hole at the front, and it will be perfectly lined up with this hole. So I'm not planning on putting anything too heavy in this. Okay, so as well as um, these lovely papers, this is one of the digital elements. Again, perfect for um, cards, absolutely perfect for cards. I'm not going to stick that on just yet because I want to use some foam pads on that and I need to um, curve this up now so we're going to be gluing this in place so the reason why I'm doing this first is because it's going to be curved this is going to be curved on so I want to have the curve there before I glue it on so I'm just uh, popping these in Actually, I'm going to put this one in last let's pop this one in first there we go Right, so I've got the kind of memory going for that now. So I'm going to glue that down. And again, I don't really, it, it will be really strong because it's curving inwards, but I just want it to be super strong and sturdy. So what we're going to do is just press that down. So we've got our glue now. You can use a glue gun if you wanted to as well. So just spend a bit of time just holding that in place. Okay, so let's get on with decorating the rest of our bag. That's a really nice size bag there. It's perfect for visitors as well. Just a, a little toiletry pack and a flannel, um, you know, maybe some biscuits, some nice little Christmas treats. Or well, you know, there's just loads of ideas on what you can use this for. So I'm going to use some foam pads now on here. I'm going to put a good coverage of these on because it's going to be curved. So I want good adhesion. I'll press down on everything. And then it should make it easier for these to peel off. There we go. You could go in the centre. Yes, I'm going to go in the centre there. It kind of looks like an envelope now, doesn't it? got the curvature now of the bag. I'm really loving how this is looking actually and now I'm going to add a couple of uh, finishing touches. This one's going to be too big but I've got some really big bows here. These are Christmas decorations. I bought them to use with my crafting but they are actually from the Christmas decoration section. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a little bow just here. It may affect the weight on the hanging so if you have anything heavier put it on the opposite side to the bow so that you know your bag kind of hangs really nicely and I'm just going to use just my glue gun here oh I need to refill that so let's turn that on wait for that to heat up and I'm just going to grab the glue stick glue stick goes in and there is another finishing touch that you can add to it and that would be this says jingle bells so you could add some actual bells to this but if you're going to be sneaking up to your guest's room um, in the middle of the night they may not have their own stockings they probably will bring their own stockings but if you wanted to add something extra uh, you know a little a surprise from Father Christmas then you can um, maybe go without the bells because you'll completely give yourself away if uh, 
they they wake up to this because it's it's going to jingle. So I get some twine. And I'm thinking round about that much. I'm going to go with gold bells because we've got gold bow. Bows and bells. And then what we can do is thread, thread these through. I think I'm going to knot them as well. So yeah, if you think you can put this on your guest's door very quietly without setting off the alarm bells off, then you can probably get away with this. again jingle bells there we go so we could probably slip to the side so <clears throat> I'm just going to glue them on the inside there so what I'm going to do is I'm going to tie a knot where I want it to be that knot is the knot that I'm going to glue to the inside of the bag. There we go. Okay, so let's start with the jingle bells first. Just going to add a bit of glue there. Push that on, and I'm sorry if you can't see. I'm doing my best to try and. I'm going to use my bone folder there just to press that into the glue. There we go. So there we have our jingle bells. We'll probably add a gift tag along with those j jingle bells as well. And now all I have to do is add my little bow. So let's add a whole load of glue to this. As you can see, it's a decoration, so it's got a tie twist on this. Let's get that cut off. I do like bows on angles. Just going to cut that off. Just a little bit of a thread there coming off there. There we go. Turn this off. I do love my cordless one. Okay, so you can fill this now with anything that you want for your, for your guests or if, if you're just giving it away to loads of different people you can just put all the fillings in there and that will hang on the door handle hopefully you're, you can find a big enough circle if you do have a larger doorknob and um, yeah I really like that I might carry on decorating I mean I have things to my side here from my Christmas crafting so I might add some holly as well so oh yes that looks really nice I'm going to add some holly so uh, this is from one of my other die sets actually, um, it's from the Cracker die set, I'll make sure that that is listed down below as well. Um, I've used these, oh yeah I did mention this earlier in the intro, so it's not stuck down yet. There we go, let's get that popped on. Yes, yeah, so I do like to mix and match my die sets. Especially when they come with a lot of accessories, you can really mix and match everything. There we go, a nice pop of bright red there. And there we have it. I think that finishes it off really well, Jingle Bells. I absolutely love that. It looks a little bit retro actually. What do you think? Do you think it looks a bit retro? Let me know down. Let me know down in the comments below. So 
that was uh, day eight I think it was so if you like this one give me a thumbs up if you make this one I'd love to see your photos and um, I'll see you again soon for day nine